Hi, my name is Tu. In this video, I'll be showing you about uh, NX Wave Geometry Linker. So let's begin by initiating uh, an NX session. So let's create. Let's begin by creating a new part file called Sphere. So this sphere contains a sphere. So let's let us just quickly create a sphere of diameter one hundred millimeter. Okay, and we save this file. Okay. Now let's create another cat file, and this time we call it triangle. So this triangle file contains a triangle. And the height of this triangle is approximately 175 millimeters. And we will save this file again. So now let us notice that we have already created two files, sphere and the triangle. And for each of the files, notice that the name, the triangle file contains only the triangle information, and the sphere contains only the sphere information. In the assembly navigators. So let's say you would like to add the triangle into the sphere part file. So we use the add component method and specify a location to put the triangle. So, okay, now notice that this file is called sphere.part and the sphere contains a children file called triangle. So if you hide the children file, we cannot see uh, any triangle again. And if, you, if we go to the part navigator, you can see there is a sphere and there is no triangle information. So let's try to click on the wave geometry linker. And now we'll click on the children file and click OK. Notice that a new item is added to the part navigator. So if we hide the triangle, we can still see a triangle. This is the, the name is link body number two. And if we close this part, and we can also definitely find the triangle here because of the geometry wave linker. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.